All right. So the other thing before we uh, go to the interview that we did with Dr. Patel, uh, the Wednesday night ratings, I thought were very interesting. Um, there was so much talk, and I don't, and, and I don't know. I wonder why there was so much talk this week because, um, I guess the tribalism aspect. I, I well, think that it, 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 it. Um, I think there was so much talk because the gap in eighteen to forty nine was bigger than I expected. Um, I thought it would be very clo- would be closer in eighteen to forty nine, and it was not. But NXT still had more viewers, so you you had you know people yelling from the hills we won we won you know and that fight and um and i i thought to me as far as total numbers go i expected better for both and you know it's not like there was like this week coming up where it's going to be real tough with nascar and ufc going head to head with them um and then you know after i think the 29th it's every wednesday they're going against the nba and you know nhl and soccer probably most weeks too. I mean, not that soccer is going to be a big difference, but the NBA will be. Um, so it's going to be a lot tougher going forward. But these were like big shows, na- themed shows. And I was just thinking, you know, the week before, both had really good shows. I, I thought that I know AEW didn't, you know, I'm, uh, AEW had a loaded lineup. Jericho and Orange Cassidy had been built up for weeks. Um, they did well in 18 to 49, but still I just expected, um, you know, if you had gone a month ago when this thing started, um, I really thought that like AW, when it came to these fighter fest shows, I thought they were going to be way up there and they weren't as far as total numbers, like, you know, in the eight to 900,000 range and they were, you know, barely over seven. Um, and the 18 to 49 was, I mean, it was fine. Number seven of the night and all that. It's and, and very strong in 18 to 34 especially guys um but but not strong you know not so strong i mean over 50 they're never going to be strong but 35 to 49 they were down from last week um so there were encouraging signs for both shows but they both did less viewers than i expected and and nxt was much lower in 18 to 49 um they did very well for lee and, and cole but not the whole show uh, most of the show they were low and then they did very well for the main event um, in fact the main event was probably the most successful uh, match that they've had in months and months and months I mean uh, Lee and Cole was much more successful than you know Shirai and Sasha Banks was much more so um, you know and that's no main roster guys but it was title versus title and it was built up for a month and um, but it was a the match was a success, but I didn't. I thought it would carry the show better than it did, and it didn't. Um, and then with AEW, you know, that was a loaded great show. I mean, almost every match delivered. Um, and you know, the the again the eighteen thirty four number was was you know they they beat SmackDown in eighteen to thirty four, which is impressive as hell because you know they had competition and SmackDown didn't. And not to mention SmackDown being on an, on Fox, so. You, you can't look at that and not say it's good. You'd have to say that's great. But still, I would have liked, you know, more, more, I guess, more 35 plus viewers. And they didn't have that this week. Okay. A couple questions that I have. So when I thought, I thought AW show um, really moved. It felt, it was live. It felt, I mean, it felt live. It wasn't live. It wasn't it live, felt, but yeah, yeah. It felt live and it felt like things were happening. And right up until the main event segment, um, you know, I guess the second half of that show, they booked Nyla and the Dark Order in back-to-back segments. And I, my, like, I'm watching this going like, okay, these are maybe my two least favorite segments on the show. They must be hand-delivering people to change the channel as the NXT main event is coming on but i don't know if the numbers read that 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 that's what happened but as i'm watching Mm -hmm. i I was just like man you know leading up to this main event like you 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 put in you know maybe the two worst segments on the show back to back a little a little i mean they you know aw did a very strong first hour and not so strong second hour um so you know i mean it was the 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 tag match you know the the omega match did great the young bucks match um I mean, like it's it's weird because it did it did it did fine, 
But it's like I'm watching that match, and that match is like so unreal good. And I keep thinking, you know, which is faulty thinking, but but you always think that's like, oh, my God, you know, this match is unreal. It's going to just kill. But that's not what kills in the ratings. You know, it's like, you know, FTR is going to take time because, you know, the reality is, is that like some people go, oh, they're coming off WWE, but they're, they're not coming off WWE like John Moxley. I mean, they're if anything, the WWE hurt them and they have to rebuild from WWE. If they had come from NXT. I'm not saying that they would would have any more drawing power, but they would have more momentum. And, um, you know, th- those guys are so unreal, but it's going to take time before they become draws. And, you know, that match, like, you know, but yeah, th- that match did okay. Well, the Bucks don't, the Bucks don't, th- they should be carrying those segments, but, you know, we've been talking about from the beginning, they haven't really booked themselves as stars. Yeah, I think that they I think that when the thing started the they should have made the Bucks, Omega, Cody and Jericho. Those guys should have been just pushed to the moon and Omega and the Bucks uh more than Cody and Jericho, you know, took it on themselves to make other people and it, at a, and there would be a time when they should and all of them should. Jericho, you know, every one of them. There's a time when they should, but the first six months to me wasn't that time. Um, and yeah, you know, so now, yeah, those guys have unreal matches and they are stars. I mean, like, you know, if you go to a, a live show, you watch the pay-per-view, you know, to that audience, yeah, they're really, really big. It's not like to, the, to that audience. Absolutely. But it just feels like there is a, a lower ceiling based on the way that they book some of these guys, because you can, you, you, you can book to your hardcores. Great. But what about how, like how how are you going to grow? Yeah, 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 and 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 it's hard. You know, the thing that they're missing is, um, um, you know, I mean, but everyone's missing it. You know what I mean? It's like the the, the one that's going to take off is when when Steve Austin shows up. You know what I'm saying? The you know the guy. You know, it's like and and I don't know who it's going to be, but. At some point, someone's going to... It's, it's harder now because the audience is smaller to even, you know, have that guy be that guy. But that's what it's going to take. I mean, everything else, you're kind of like, this is the audience. You know, that's where we're at. This is the audience for wrestling. And it, and, it is, and it is a dwindling audience, but you can still make money off of it. I mean, WWE's making a ton of money. And AEW's successful, too. But, um, yeah, they need... They need that guy. That guy, Jericho. Jericho is great, and Jericho would be a great opponent for that guy. And Moxley the same, but they're not that. They're they're not that guy. They're the guys who can work with that guy. Kenny Omega could work with that guy. Uh, you know, um, Adam Page probably could work with that guy. See, I still think Kenny Omega was that guy before it started. Well, he was to certain people, and and I mean, you know, there's no arguing. Um, what we all thought would be um and that 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 didn't happen at that level and it and but but when and when you watch it you can see why it didn't happen at that level because it was never pushed it he was never pushed at that level he lost to jericho he lost to Pac. um his you know the idea was his time would come in year two and it still may but um you know you're gonna need a lot of pro a lot of serious promos i mean i don't i don't think that the comedy is the comedy's fine, and I, you know, and I know mostly comes on BT, where I don't think it hurts you, but still, um, the the Kenny Omega that was, you know, I mean, I know it's like a different time, but I look at that the Kenny Omega when he left the junior heavyweight division and did the angle with AJ, and then you know he just took took off and won the G one, and yeah, that guy, that guy was one of the most compelling characters there was, and you know sold out the Tokyo Dome and had the feud of the generation and all that. Uh, but And and he was going to be fresh to yeah. a lot of this U.S. audience fresh on this show. And unique, and, and, and unique character. We really haven't seen it. We've seen some comedy, but we haven't seen... We haven't seen the guy in the documentary. No one's even seen the documentary except for Stewart <laughs> in Canada. But the guy in the documentary... I mean, like I I remember when um, Omega was on that that I don't remember the name of the show, but it's it's equivalent to the View their their version of the View. Mm-hmm. 
you know, and that, you know, the views a big time mainstream show, I guess. And, and he went on there and it's all women and he just aced that show. And that's when I was like, man, this guy's like, you know, he, he's, he can be that guy, but it's just, you know, he hasn't, he hasn't, you know, he hasn't done talk shows. Um, so it, it hasn't been the guy. You know, Jericho, I mean, it's really been Jericho and Cody that do most of that media stuff. And I know Kenny doesn't really love the media stuff, um, you know, and, and I think that I think Cody and Jericho really do like it. Maybe they don't want to do as I, I know I don't want to speak for them as far as that. But but put it this way, when they're on, they're going to they're, they're, they're going to be great when they're on. And, and they they understand, you know, I think both of them understand the importance of it. Um, so, yeah, I, you know, you I I know what you're saying, and and I'm sure that there will be a time when Omega chases for the title on a pay per view, and and they focus everything on him. And I think he'll do well. And I think, hopefully, you know, he's 100 percent physically at that point in time, because uh, mentally he's there. I mean, I, I could see that in the match on uh, on uh, with Private Party. It was just like, wow, you know, that was uh, I thought that was a really good match. Um, but you know, you know, obviously by the end of the night, that 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 eight man was unreal. But you know that's, um, and there's that 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 three way feud, and if you throw in Omega and Page, and even Santana and Ortiz, and some of the other teams, but you know those those you know Pentagon Phoenix Young Bucks and FTR, I mean those I think those matches are going to be incredible, and I think that I really want to see them go on last on a pay per view, you mm-hmm. know, maybe um, maybe if the Young Bucks FTR first time ever. Maybe that goes on last after the world title. And then, you know, you do your thing where you try to teach people, you know, that tag teams can be a main event, which is going to be hard because people have been brainwashed, you know, for, for decades that, that this doesn't happen, even though, you know, obviously there are people in certain territories that were involved around tag teams where this was commonplace. But, you know, those people are all 60 years old and not watching AEW. So it's tough. It's tough to, to make that thing, you know, where people will look at these guys and just go, well, you know. You know, they're they're a great tag team. When do they break up and, and this guy has his singles run? And, you know, like with the Young Bucks, that's probably never going to happen. As talented as, as both guys are, and Nick in, in particular, um, it's still not going to happen. And FTR, it's not going to happen, I don't think, either. I don't think that either of those guys, um, as good as they are, I think that they're best as a, to, to be a tag team for years and years. Um, you know, Phoenix, I think, can go as a single. Um, but I don't know that they'll ever, you know, he'll be in... in I think Phoenix will give you incredible singles matches, but I don't see, you know, Phoenix uh, main eventing a pay-per-view as a single. Maybe, you know, maybe I'm wrong. I mean, it would be something to have like, uh, you know, Kenny Omega against Phoenix in a pay-per-view main event. I've seen it once and it was twice. Oh, the first one was incredible. Second one was great too, but the first one was through the roof incredible. 